um, I want to say this real quick. I want to thank the white people that have participated in the protests that are happening globally. You don't have to do it. And I'm not the type of person to say, well, you should have. It, it took you so long. What took you so long? I'm not going to do that. I'm glad that you're here. And I'm glad that you see that w we've been trying to tell the world for eons. You see it now. Police brutality and overall racism. And it's like black people, and specifically in America, it's crazy. It's a crime for us to be black. And it's the nerve that these racist people have. The nerve of them. We've never done anything to anyone, like historically. But everyone has done something or done an in cause of injustice to us somehow, some way. When you go, go into our communities, they're not black owned. Nothing's black owned. The Chinese take out of the community. The Italians take out of the community and the likes. The Koreans with their beauty salons, excuse me, their beauty supply stores, their Chinese food restaurants, their Italian pizzeria shops. Everybody's taking and taking and taking And it's just the nerve of people that are racist Are racist people The nerve Because I know Nine times out of ten These guys are The same men and women that are racist Towards blacks They look at sports And sports Which are the two The, the most favorite Two most favorite sports Out there is basketball and football And that's predominantly ran by black people The hip hop industry is a, a billion dollar industry. So most, most people, like I'll go as far to say, I'll say at least about six out of 10 people around the world listen to hip hop, period. So you love our culture, you love our dances, you love everything about us, but us. Which makes no sense So I'm glad that now You white people That have been able To Practice our culture To, 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 to rap and to listen to the music And create music and, and, and we've welcomed you With all arms I'm glad that now You know you, you participated with us in hip hop you, you have embraced our culture I'm glad that you're embracing All of it now because this is part of it And the part is Identifying Racism And what black people Actually have to go through Every day Every day Now that we got that out of the way I must say this when we invite you to the cookout Now I'm metaphorically speaking When we invite you to the cookout This is the problem Now I told you I, I, I thanked you for participating But there's rules and guidelines That you have to adhere to And you got One of them is you have to take that white privilege away A feel of entitlement You have to take that away It's not about you It's about black people It's about us so I hate it when people say This is not a black issue This is a human issue Yes it is a black issue Because we're the only people Or the only race that's going through this mess So you have to leave entitlement And white privilege at the door And the next thing Is when you Are invited to the cookout Metaphorically speaking You can come We, we embrace you But don't put Raisins inside the potato salad Because we don't like that In other words If you join us In protesting We don't want to see you get dressed up as Batman While we're protesting We don't want to see you prancing around Smoking cigarettes Holding a sign saying Black Lives Matter Dressed in the Joker outfit In the movie The Joker We don't want to see that This is not about you And this is not about anarchy 
This is not about uh, uh, just jumping around and breaking windows and, and looting and all of that. That's not what it's about. There are some people that are doing that. But this is not what this is about. This is about police brutality. This is about ra racism, systemic racism. So we're going to need you to act accordingly if you want to participate in the protest. Period. And it's just that plain and simple. Now, from what I've seen, most of the, the white protesters that I've seen have been peaceful. But then I'm hearing a lot like, you know, black people saying, you know, yo, we were peacefully protesting and then a white guy came out of nowhere and started throwing rocks in windows and stuff like that. That has to stop. This is not a game. This is not a joke. This is our lives. And what we're trying to do is let everybody know, uh, let everyone be aware of what's going on. You see, let me, let me explain something to you. The reason why these guys, black guys, are vandalizing, looting, and all of that stuff is because they have, they, they, they have a deep hurt that you can never understand. So what I'm trying to explain to you And just, just listen to me Hear me out The way you loot The way you vandalize The way you throw rocks in the window And tear up stuff Is not the same You don't have the same motive That black people have You just don't Because you're not black And that's something that you can't understand That's just like um when 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 people talk about MCing, like rapping, right? Um, everybody can rap. Everybody can rap now. But what people fail to realize is the real MCs. The real MCs are the ones that have substance. Because originally, rap, hip hop was about a voice. It came out of the slums, and it was. The youth, the youth, youth, wow, messing up my words. The youth way, youth way of expressing themselves and letting everybody know what's going on in the ghetto. But now that it's been commercialized, it's it's watered down to you could just put a, a word together, rhyme together, and, and, and now you're an MC. No, it's about substance. And that's the same thing dealing with this protest. Black people are frustrated. This is the reason why they're doing what they're doing. Period. And with them saying that, you can never understand that. No race can ever understand why that black man threw a rock at that window and broke it. Why that black man is running in Foot Locker taking sneakers. And some of them, I'm not going to lie, they're doing it for selfish purposes. But for most of them, they're frustrated. And they're tired. And they're, they're, they're tired of not being heard. So in order to be heard, guess what? What does a baby do? And I'm not referring to uh, blacks as being babies. But I'm just, I'm just saying, what does a baby do? When it can't get what it wants, it throws a tantrum. This is the same thing with dealing with black people. You're killing us out in the streets. What are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to act? It's crazy. It's crazy. Hurt people are going to hurt. That's what they're going to do. So you may not see a black man and a black woman crying. But if you see a black man and a black woman Vandalizing and yelling and screaming it that's their that's their emotions. They 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 they're not they're not physically crying, but they they're trying to trying to be heard because they don't want to be another victim. And neither do I. Now true indeed, I, I don't necessarily agree with the protest because it had to me a protest to have a motive. You know what I'm saying? Um it has to be organized. And there's different ways or forms of protesting. One of them being, which is the biggest, an economic protest. We hit them in the pockets. 
another form of protesters, what they're doing right now, walking through peacefully, walking through the, the streets and, and saying, you know, Black Lives Matter. So there's several ways of protest. It's not just one. One way that you can protest, or rather get your, your voice out there, um, is to educate your fellow white friends or brothers and sisters. Because there are a lot of white people out here that are not racist, and it's just, they just don't know, they're not aware. And the thing that bothers me about, about some white people, not all, they think they know everything. So they think that they can talk on the behalf of on the behalf of black people. If you're not black, you don't understand. L let me let me put this a lot to you like this. I would never attempt to tell a white man about a white man. Never. I could tell him about my experiences when dealing with a white man, but I can never tell a white man about a white man, meaning I don't know what it's like to be white. So I, I, I can never, I can never understand what it's like to be white, just like you can't understand what it's like to be black. The only thing you can do is just listen. Listen, that's it. And educate your fellow white friends. And as you're protesting, please act accordingly. Be respectful. This is not about you. It's about black lives matter. That's what it's about. Black lives matter. Not all lives for now. Black lives. We're going to focus on black people because those are the ones that are getting killed in the street. Not white White lie, white white people, not Hindu Hindu or uh, 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 excuse me, uh, East Indians, not Arabs, not Chinese, not Japanese. Black people are getting killed by police officers and regular white civilians. White racist police officers and regular white civilians. So I'm asking you, like I said, I, I want to thank you for participating, but just please act accordingly. My name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video. One.